Day 15 of Thomas Clayton's murder trial has wrapped up. Clayton is accused of hiring Michael Beard to kill his wife Kelly back in September of 2015. Testimony this morning focused on pictures of the crime scene. WENY's Logan Wilson joins us live from the Steuben County Courthouse in Bath to explain tonight. Logan. Nick and Renata testimony continued today for day 15 of Thomas Clayton's murder trial and testimony resumed with New York State Police Forensic Identification Unit investigator Dan Armstrong. Now last week we told you about investigator Armstrong testifying to pictures in the garage. Today he continued that testimony by showing jurors pictures of gas cans in the Clayton's garage. Two of the gas cans were red and one of them was yellow. During cross examination, the defense asked the witness to identify gas powered items in the garage, including a leaf blower, weed whacker and power washer. The defense also asked the investigator why pictures of shoe prints at the scene weren't compared to shoes collected. Also, why a possible nail on a wall in the garage wasn't investigated. Investigator Armstrong said he was only assigned to take pictures and collect evidence. Investigator Armstrong also testified to taking pictures of the safe in the basement. He did say he looked for trace evidence on the safe. Investigator Armstrong also testified to the home showing no signs of forced entry. Now coming up on WENY News at 6, I'll tell you about this afternoon's testimony. That included five witnesses taking the stand. That testimony involved three men who were at the poker game with Thomas Clayton the night of Kelly's death, as well as testimony from one of Kelly's friends. I'll tell you about that and more coming up on WENY News at 6. But for now, reporting from the Steuben County Courthouse, Logan Wilson. In w -E -N -Y News. Day 15 of the Thomas Clayton murder trial has wrapped up and Clayton is accused of hiring Michael Beard to kill his wife Kelly in September of 2015. And this afternoon, three men who attended the poker game Clayton was at the night of Kelly's death took the stand today. WENY's Logan Wilson joins us live from the Steuben County Courthouse in Bath tonight. Logan. Nick and Renata, the prosecution moved through five witnesses this afternoon, including testimony from three men who played poker with Thomas Clayton the night of Kelly's death. All three of those men say that poker was always played on Monday nights and that it usually started with a text from Greg Miller early Monday mornings to try and get a feel for how many people would be able to play that night. All three men also testified about conversations Thomas Clayton had that night. The men testified saying that Clayton was having a conversation with one of the men that night about unloading deer blinders on land that was by Clayton's home. All three said the conversation was about Clayton helping the one gentleman the next morning. That gentleman testified to only asking for Clayton's help, saying there was no discussion about involving anyone else. All three men also testified to Clayton acting normal that night. Also on the stand this afternoon was one of Kelly's close friends, Abby Tipton. Tipton testified to two conversations she had with Clayton after Kelly's death. Tipton testified to Clayton calling her in February of 2016, telling her he loved Kelly, he spent lots of money on Kelly, and that he didn't do this. Tipton asked Clayton why Michael Beard would do something like this. Clayton told her Beard needed money, that Beard contacted him that day of Kelly's death asking for money excuse me, the day before Kelly's death, September 28th, asking for money. Clayton said he told Beard whatever money he had was at home and that he wouldn't be home that evening. Tipton also testified to Clayton telling her he never cheated on Kelly. Now, so far, more than 40 witnesses have taken stand in day 15 of Thomas Clayton's murder trial. Tomorrow, Special District Attorney Whedon Wetmore is expected to call people to testify about cell phone data. And as always, for the latest updates on this case, you can follow me on Twitter. But for now, reporting from the Steuben County Courthouse, Logan Wilson, WENY News.